Welcome to D'Angelo Auto, where today we're going to spend some time with our 2012 Audi Q7 Prestige S-Line TDI. Thanks for taking the time to watch our virtual tour of the 2012 Audi Q7 TDI. We're going to start by taking a quick walk around the exterior of the car. I'll try to point out any imperfections and notable features. Then we'll jump inside, press some of the buttons, and if you have any questions, please reference our website at D'AngeloAuto.com. So we're going to start off by taking a look at the 20-inch alloy wheels. These are a multi-spoke wheel with a brushed aluminum face and painted insert. You'll notice that this one has brand new tires on it. It also has some light curb rash on the edges here. But as we zoom out from just about three feet back, it's almost indetectable, uh, just showing how minor it really is. This one's Orca Black, which means it has the metallic in it. In the sun, it really is iridescent. But as we pan the side, notice that there are no real visible dordings, scratches, or anything too terribly offensive. Now let's zoom in here on the driver's side rear wheel. Again, matching Falcon 20-inch tire, brand new. This one has a little bit of curb damage as well. It appears that... Whoever owned this previously may be parked by feel, uh, but you'll notice just a little bit of damage here, maybe here, but again, as we come back and are about three and a half feet back, it, it's almost not visible. This is the S-Line model, so you're going to see the body appearance package, which is here on the back. Most notably, it's also on the front. It does have the tow hitch, the parking sensors, and the rear backup camera. Power rear hatch. This is a seven passenger. So you have the two rear seats. They also fold down flat. Pretty easily done with one hand. Got rubber mats. And again, we just press this here to close that. Condition wise in the rear, it's in very nice shape. I'm not seeing anything too crazy. Uh, some light, light scratches, almost surface scratches on the bumper cover, which makes sense because you're going to have the most activity when putting things in and out of the car. But aside from that, back it's in really nice shape. Right now we're at the passenger side rear wheel. Looks very similar to the first two we've looked at so far. Again, matching tire. Some light, light curb damage right there, just on the lip of the wheel. But nothing too terribly offensive on the face. And looks pretty good. So panning down the passenger side. Very reflectant of the other side and the overall condition of the car. Nothing jumping out at me. If you see something that I'm missing, definitely let me know in the comments. We'll wrap up here with the passenger side front. Now this one, yeah, kind of the same. I think the only other thing aside from that that I'm seeing is a light one here on the face of it. Unfortunately, this is brushed aluminum. So if you were to uh, have them fixed, there's limited options. I think the best would be to give it a full color. On my personal car, I drive one of these. I made mine black. They look really good. Here's the front end of the car. This is where you're going to find any rock chips, things like that. I mean, aside from maybe just a handful that I can count, there's not too much to show you. Again, on the front, things in really nice shape. Of course, being the S-Line, you have the mesh 
here. On other lower end cars, you'll have the just uh, slots across. And then this lower valance is a body appearance option as well. LED headlights and by Xenon. Up top, we have a roof rack on it that is obviously able to come off. And then the massive panoramic moonroof that encompasses more or less the whole entire roof of the car. Inside the car, leather's in really great shape. Being the Prestige model, these seats are both heated and cooled. And as I'm going over the seating service, you can tell there's really limited wear and tear. A lot of times you'll find big uh, tears and activity right here or here on the bolster just because people are going in and out. On this particular car, not much to show you. You have brushed aluminum uh, trim on the inside. S-Line package has the leather wrap steering wheel, prestige push button start. So I'll fire it up so we can press some of the buttons. Another feature of the Prestige is the Bluetooth, or, sorry, not Bluetooth, the blind spot monitoring, which is on the mirror right there. This car has 98,000 miles on it. You've got the S-Line steering wheel with the perforated leather trim, paddle shifters, also driver controls, including navigation and computer controls here. Got a nice stereo multimedia interface, navigation. You also have Bluetooth. Now I can talk about the Bluetooth. Uh, 2012 was the first year that they did streaming media for the Bluetooth. So once you have set up the Bluetooth, uh, if you do have media on your phone, it should stream through the computer without having it hardwired in. Got surround sound stereo. And then down here you have your climate control functionalities, which is dual climate control with heated and cooled seats. Uh, I'll show you the backup camera really quick. We're not moving though, because we don't want to go back into the wall. Then you have self-dimming mirrors also. This is the Bose surround sound stereo. The upgraded option would be to move to the Bang & Olufsen. And then you also have power memory seats on the driver's side. Let's jump into the back really quick. The back seats are equally as nice as the front. Of course, it's a little dark, so you can't see. We'll go to the photo gallery to get better pictures of that. But generally speaking, the condition of the interior is, I would say, 9 out of 10. Another cool feature is the sun shades in, built into the door if you do have rear passengers and then LED lighting all the way around this has keyless entry push button start and the black orca paint hopefully this gives you a good idea of our 2012 Audi Q7 Prestige S-Line TDI for more information please visit our website at d'angeloauto.com where we're built on quality and driven by relationships thanks for watching